Kirov's first law, which is otherwise known as Kirov's current law, states that the sum of currents entering a junction is equal to the sum of currents leaving the junction. The other part of the question says the variation with potential difference of the current for a resistor X and for a semiconductor are shown. Determine the resistance of the diode for a potential difference of 0 0.6 volts. And so at 0 0.6 volts, at 0 0.6 volts. At 0 0.6 volts, the current is 7.5 milliamps. 7.5 milliamps. So the resistance R is voltage over current, which gives us 0 0.6 over a current of 7.5 milliamps. And this gives us, it gives us 80 ohms. Describe qualitatively the variation of the resistance of the diode as V increases from 0.6 to 0.75 volts. Qualitatively, so we're just going to say, does it increase, does it decrease? In this case, the graph shows that current increases, the resistance decreases. This right, now we have to find the voltage across the resistor and the voltage across the diode and add them together. The voltage across the diode happens to be 0 0.6 volts because that's the voltage across the diode when we have a current of 7.5 milliamps through it from the graph above. Right, we are supposed to use Fig 6.1 to determine E. Fig 6.1 is this one over here. Alright, so we have the resistor and the diode connected in series. And there is a current of 0 0.5 milliamps through the resistor. Which means that 7.5 milliamps is this. Which means that that is the voltage across the resistor. And also, that is the voltage across the diode. So we have 0 0.3 plus 0 0.6 to give us 0 0.9. That's E. That's how we determine E.
the person says determine the resistance of resistor y we know that the current passing through y can be obtained from from the current's law currents entering a junction are equal to currents leaving we have currents of 9.3 entering the junction which means the difference between 9.3 and 7.5 milliamps are the current that enters through y so this is the current passing through y and that current we have to divide it by e so that we get the resistance so e was was 0 0.9 volts and we divide by 1.8 milliamps and that gives us that gives us 500 500 ohms that's our answer so the power dissipated in the diode can be obtained from this formula power is equal to iv right now we have a current of 7.5 milliamps that multiplied by a voltage of the voltage through the the diode is 0 0.6 right so we have this that gives us a power that gives us that gives us 4.5 milli watts right so we have 4.5 milli watts right 4.5 milli watts that's our answer there right now to answer item 4 which says the cell is now replaced by a new cell of emf 5, 0.5 volts and negligible internal resistance Use fix this point one to determine the new current in the diode. To answer this question, we need to look at our given graph. Let's look at our given graph. And the current is 0 0.5 volts. So this is the current through the diode. 